Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Crab Lord back again. This video is brought to you by my new preset packs. Here in the Crab Lord stew, we have the Volume 6 preset pack for Logic Pro. All stock plugins, and that means you don't have to spend any money on the real one. In this bundle, we have the Trippy Red preset. We have the Kid Leroy. We also have Lil Baby in there, too, because that is a very requested one. And then also, we got the Drake and Future Life is Good preset. They'll all be selling for the same price of $9.99 a pop, or $20 for all four. $20 for all four. When you come to my streets, you get good deals. And you can get them all at MediaMonopoly.co. You don't want to miss this. Anyway, let's get back to the feature. Feature presentation. Today we're gonna be doing how to sound like 24k golden in the song Mood featuring Ian Dior. Anyway, before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe, subscribe the notification bell as well. So you never miss the video that I post. Also, you gotta make sure to do this. Description down below. The presets will be down there. All my equipment, all my music, all my social media, a support link for the preset packs, and a distro kid link to put your music all over the interwebs and streaming services. Anyway, 24k golden mood. Let's get in the video. So as you can see, it's a cluster. To break it down for you, we got a lead vocal here, and we got a sub of background vocals, because there's a bunch of vocals in this one. Before I re-record it, I want to say this beat is reproduced by Beats by Uriel. He made a very accurate and beautiful instrumental, okay? So go check him out. Thank you so much. Also, I can't sing the harmony in this song, so that's going to be missing, but I did my best to do everything else. His voice has got that range that I do not have. So basically, for this tutorial, you record five vocals the exact same way. <laughs> And I start to feel like your dad Hey, I hope you like that Because now we're gonna go through it uh, It was a tough one to do One of the harder ones And we bring in the track That I'm talking on right now Below the lead These vocals are based on the lead vocal So we're gonna do the lead first And then do those second There's some minor tiny adjustments So I'm gonna bring this here And I'm gonna bring each plugin over From the lead And then we're gonna talk about it Now it's dry We're gonna name this Dry to lead As you can see We have a lot of plugins Every time I bring one over We're gonna play the song Just the lead part though Alright, so first we have Pitch Correction It's found in pitch pitch correction mono i don't like talking about this simply because some of you might not need it and also as well as it has to be the right root and scale and it might not be the same as this song so if you use this scale on a song with a completely different key it's going to sound awful it's a natural minor scale g for me with a 20 response time you want to know the response time that's basically it to find your root and scale i recommend just go between major scale and natural minor and just check every root until it sounds good to you because that's what i always do and then we're going to close it and play it with just pitch correction why well, you always in the mood Around nothing brand new I ain't trying to tell you what to do Next we have a de -esser. de -esser 2 is found in Dynamics de 2 Mono. There's no de 1, I don't know why. Dynamics de 2 Mono. I didn't really change anything about it. I basically made the frequency 3786. Then make it that and that's what I had. And close it. de and pitch correction. Why well, you always in the mood? Around nothing brand new I ain't trying to tell you what to do and then another essential piece is the noise gate. The noise gate is simply going to remove the extra sounds that you are not making. That would be dynamics, noise gate, mono. It's all about the threshold, baby. I just go to the top and click tighten up down here. If you talk like this and you make the threshold disappear and sometimes whenever you talk, it's not going to pick everything up. So I'll make about 38. Three essential plugins that don't do much. Why well, you always in the mood? Around not the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. Now we'll get into the real actual editing of it. So we'll start with the channel EQ to clean it up. Channel EQ will bring it over. What's this going to do? It's going to do a little initial work. EQ, channel EQ, mono. When you're inside of it, you got a simple little thing going here. Before I say anything, you can also double click all the values to get the identical slope that I have. I normally do it like this. You take away the low, make a little shelf around 200 with the orange. You take the green about 500, you drop it a tiny bit like two. You take this green to about like two to three, you drop it a measly bit. And then you also take the purple and raise it about four to five over 3k to 10 and then you take this pink one and cut it off so you don't get too much crazy noise going on at the end anyway we'll close it and we'll play it like that why you always in the mood around like the brand new i ain't trying to tell you what to do next to the first compressor i believe i'm getting better at these but time will tell so compressor dynamics compressor mono go inside of it this is the studio fet it kind of adds a tiny bit of distortion this compressor goes to negative 10 hey Hey, to get that, ratio of 3.6 to 1. The threshold of negative 24.5. Make up a 5 because it's about negative 10, so we put 5 back. Attack of 10, it's fast. And then a release of 30, it's also relatively fast. Auto gains off and then soft distortion, give it some more body and a tiny bit of distortion. And then we're going to close it and play it right now. Why you always in a mood? 
around nothing brand new i ain't trying to tell you what to do next we have a second compressor as you can hear when i put it down it's gonna change my voice again it's a lot lighter dynamics compressor mono same way studio vca my favorite it's the smoothest one for this one hey Hey, it's about like a negative 2.5 on this one. So for that, we have a 2.2 to 1 ratio. It's rather small ratio. Threshold of negative 22, makeup of zero, attack of 15, fast, release of 48, moderate, I guess. Auto gain's off, no distortion, and we're gonna close it and play it. Why you always in a mood? Around at the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. But Next, we have another form of compression in the multi band compressor or the multi presser. So we'll bring it over, and as you heard to my voice, it made it a little louder. This is Dynamics Multi Presser Mono. I am about 30% into knowing what this does exactly, and that means I have 70% to go because I don't know what the hell is even happening. But to set it up like I do, you got to double click these and change it to what I have. This will space them out, so 160, 1100, 7000. And these are how many decibels are taken away from each one negative 4.5, negative 1.5, negative 2.5, and 2. We can count. Also, for the third I change the compression to so double click negative 22. I think I didn't change anything else, but if I did, you can double click. I mainly took away and then added a tiny bit of four. Close it and we'll play it. Why you always in a mood? Around at the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. All right, the next plugin's a limiter, and it changed it a lot. And you're gonna hear it when I drop it in. Oh, hey, dynamics limiter mono. I think this is a compressor as well. I clicked the top and went to four vocals because listen, this is for a vocal. Gain of plus four, release of fifteen, output of negative zero point five, and then we're gonna close it. And we're also gonna make it quieter because my voice is getting high. Okay, with everything on like that, it sounds like this. Why you always in a mood? Around at the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. All right, now we're gonna go with a nice channel EQ again. The channel EQ, you're gonna hear what it does when I drop it in, and it doesn't really do much. This is EQ, channel EQ, mono, you know that. So at the very end of the vocal chain, what I like to do is look at the frequencies bounce up and down as I play it, and then I take away from what I think is too much. So for this one, all I basically did was take this green and drop it around like 1700, about negative two. At 3000, I raised it plus one, and then this purple one, I raised it plus two, around 3500, and then drop this again. It's just very slight, as you can see. A little bit of high raise, a little bit of mid lowering okay play it now why you always in a mood around at the brand new i ain't trying to tell you what to do and finally is the last compressor it is very light and it's so light that it might not do anything so let's pull it over and see if it does anything as i talk dynamics compressor mono i'm gonna go ahead and guess it's an opto it is i have a habit of using this as my last compressor vintage opto ratio of 3.2 to 1 my mouth is dry <laughs> Threshold of negative 20, makeup of zero, attack of two, release of 10. Extremely fast, it doesn't really do anything. So I don't even know why I have it. Distortion's hard, auto gain's off. Without any buses added, this is what it sounds like. Why you always in a mood? Why you always in a mood? Around at the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. Now what we gotta do is add the buses. What's great about the buses here is that they're gonna attach to the, both the lead and they're gonna help you mix the backup vocals. So you're killing multiple birds with a couple stones. So bus one, to create the buses, you simply just click the empty cells where it says sends and go to bus one. It will automatically create one right here. And this one, I heard some nice delay on it. So delay, stereo delay, mono stereo. So what the stereo delay does is it makes the delays pop around the sides instead of going straight on. I had the one fourth triplet for my notes. It's gonna be different for you. It's all based on your tempo. So as you play your song out, what I would recommend, check every note. And if it makes sense and it sounds good, you use it. That's what I did, so that's all I can say. But what does matter is the feedback. I'll turn it on how I had it and you can hear it. Negative 6.8, negative 6.8. Feedback is how many times it repeats itself. For example. Hey. Cool. cool. The frequency is how the delay is going to come in. My delayed voice is going to only be between these frequencies, 220 to 5600 on both sides, basically. I was sloppy about it, so just keep it around that. 70, 70, that's how much of the main voice is going to appear. So 70% of the loudness of my voice is going to come back as a delay, but also because it's in a bus at negative seven, it's going to be even quieter. It might be hard to understand what I mean by that, by that but, but that's your stereo delay. Stereo delay. Play. Why well, you always in a mood? Around at the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. Now it's time for bus two, which is the reverb. It can make your song beautiful and it can also ruin your song. Bus, bus two. And in bus two, we got a space designer, my favorite. Reverb, space designer, mono stereo. Okay, so in this one, click the top and we get onto large spaces, plate, big choir, because this is a big choir we're talking about. The wet is at zero, the dry is at negative five. Size 200, length 1.85. 22 pre delay, close it, and I had it set on. Negative 35 is extremely light. If it was at zero, it would sound ridiculous. Like this. Why you always in the mood? No. Negative 35. Very light. Full chain. Why you always in the mood? Around at the brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. 
Okay, now that you made the lead vocal, you can stop there if you want. You don't have to keep going. It's not mandatory. This is what it sounds like without, and then I'm gonna turn it on what it sounds like with backups. Why you always in the mood? Go around like brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but try to play cool. Baby, I so to create those, when you make your lead, what I want you to do is hit Command D four times. One. Two times three one four two. yikes so first you want to pan the vocal so the first one let's do a left of 20 and for the second one we'll do a right of plus 20 negative 20 plus 20 to the right and left for the third one we're going to do negative 40 so we're doubling it to the left and the last one we'll do plus 40 next what i want you to do is take away some volume let's imagine this is negative 20 which means it's not too far from your left so it's a little closer so in a choir setting he's only a little bit far behind so we're going to make it negative five for both 20s so for the ones that are even further back the 40 We'll make these ones negative 10. So now you have that. Now that you set them up that way, 20 left, 20 right, 40 left, 40 right. This part might get confusing, so pay attention. So once you pan them, now you gotta simply change a few things in the strip itself. So for the first two, the 20s, we changed the channel EQ. We basically took everything out but the mid. So just copy these settings, take the red all the way to about 260, take the purples all the way to about 2000. So it's only between here, and it's the same for both left and right. It's gonna sound like this when you talk on it. And for the 40s, we're gonna only have this area. So it's a little shifted to the right. Basically take the red to 540, then have this come out to about 2K. So it's gonna have a little bit of more high, but also everything else is gone. And those will sound like this if you can hear me. Okay, now the EQs are changed. You have to add a new plugin at the very bottom of each one. What we call a stereo spreader. Imaging, stereo spread, mono stereo. So this could be confusing as well. This is my 20 to the left. We have 50% and 50% with 300 to 2500. For the one to the right, we have negative 50, negative 50, same frequency. So what we're doing here is we're just flip-flopping the whatever these do, and we're placing the vocal in different areas. For the 40s, we have it at 20, 20 for the left, and for the right, we have it at negative 20, negative 20. So you see the pattern here. So all the same frequency, all the same order. It's just for the front two, it's 50, negative 50, and for the back two, it's 20, negative 20, if that makes sense. So 20 left and right are going to be set at negative 22. The back left and right are also at negative 22, so they're all the same. So real quickly, if that confused you, you just have a different stereo spread and kind of different channel EQs on the directional one. And it's set up like that. Now I'm gonna re record four different tracks. Why you always in a mood? Go around like a brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but try to play it cool. Baby, I ain't playing by your rules. Everything looks better with a view. It's very slight. For now, we'll play it together. Why you always in a mood? Go around like a brand new. I ain't trying to tell you what to do. And now that's it. So now that you got that, now we can just freestyle and have a good time with it and just enjoy ourselves, okay? I've already recorded for 50 minutes straight and now I'm going to record some freestyles. What you wanna know about me? I was raised in the farm with a turkey. They say, why you get your ass up off the bed and get to working? I was haying bells and I was picking corn. I was saying, baby, you work until the morn. And I was only two when I got whipped with the shoe. And I was only six when I got hit with some sticks And I was only seven when I got hit with eleven, twelve I was only fifteen, and then I was sixteen and seventeen And then I was eighteen, then I was nineteen, and then I was twenty something as well and if you didn't then i'm sorry make sure to drop a like in the video leave a comment down below tell me what you think and what i should do next also like i said before my preset packs they're new they're out there also my channel subscribe notification bell description chock full of sweet things down below anyway this has been a crowd but how to sound like 24k golden in the song mood featuring ian dior and logic pro 10 is only stock plugins and remember i love you we out